Welcome back to segment two of Kitchen Crafts with Miss Annabeth. So, uh, what have you guys been eating for lunch? Share us with us in the comments what you've been eating for lunch. But if you're like me, you've been eating a lot of sandwiches, um, which are great. I like sandwiches because you can do a lot with them. Um, and I've been eating lots of like dips and things, um, trying to stay healthy. So, uh, we're gonna make a little lunchtime snack. So today I've got some things that I've been eating, uh, which are carrots. I love carrots. I'm part rabbit, uh, getting in the Easter uh, mood. I've got some cucumbers. Uh, some people don't like cucumbers. That's totally fine. You can use bell peppers. Like I said, use whatever you have in your kitchen. Um, this is just what I have in mind. Um, I'm eating hummus because I love carrots and hummus, crackers and hummus. It's delicious. Um, cheese. I have been eating lots of cheese. Uh, during this quarantine and uh, the best part about sandwiches is the bread now if you're gluten-free feel free to use a corn tortilla whatever substitute you have uh, you can make these with just cheese you could do like cheese your innards and then more cheese that sounds delicious um, and then I thought to make it a little fun we would use some cookie cutters now I don't bake a lot until it's about the holidays so I have got a Christmas stocking which I'm just going to be calling a sock, uh, a star, because why not? And then I have randomly this dog bone. I don't even have dogs. I'm a cat person, so I don't know why this is in my kitchen, but alas, here we are. Um, so let's just make a sandwich. Let's see what happens. So I think I'm going to do, I'm going to start with stars. We're going to have a little platter. I'm going to do this one at a time. So I'm just going to gently press my cookie cutters onto my bread. And since it's bread, you kind of got to rip it out. Kind of rip it while you're... And we'll see what happens. Some people don't like crust, so this is a good option for people who are crustless people. I happen to love crust because I am weird. Okay. So now, and you can kind of clean it up a little bit. See, we've got some edges. It looks kind of like... So it's kind of like a star. And so but to make it a sandwich, I need another one. Let's see. I'm going to press it really hard. Kind of rip off all that crust. There we go. Awesome. And I'm going to rip off the parts that aren't part of my star. And so these aren't going to be perfect because you are not a professional. I am not a professional, um, but I am a professional eater. And that does not discriminate. So I've got another star. So we've got our star sandwich. How about we do, let's use this random bone. Let's put it to use. Okay, so I'm going to do, since this is bigger than my slice of bread, I'm going to do half of a sandwich that way and see what happens. Oh, I think this is a better cookie cutter too because it's metal. Let's see. So I've got half of a bone. So let's make my other half. It's not gorgeous, but it will be delicious. Let's see. Okay. Again, what have you guys been eating for breakfast, for dinner? Have you guys been getting creative with your snacks? I feel like I've just been snacking all day long. Okay. Excellent. So now I've got put it together a dog bone. Very good. Okay, so we'll make one that's a little bit more open faced with our dog bone. And I think I'm going to have to do this to my cheese as well. So let's do it. Oh, that was very easy because it is cheese. Perfect. Let's put it on top. Perfect. Excellent. The other half of our dog bone. Good deal. So now I'm going to spread a little hummus um, onto my bread. Now this is pine nut um, hummus and you may not like pine nuts or any nuts at all. It may make you itch. Uh, and that is okay because you can use sprinkles on your sandwich. That'd be kind of gross, but you know, just try it out. I feel like everybody's going to be trying new things in this uh, day and age. Okay. And I've got these carrot strips, so maybe I'm going to make like a little connector. This is weird. Why are we doing this? I don't know. Hmm. Okay, let me put 
some more hummus on my star sandwich. And the question you're asking yourself is, is she going to eat all of this when she's done recording? And the answer is yes, because I did this at lunchtime because I'm hungry. So I'm putting some cucumber and putting my star on top. And then I think I'm going to make it like a shooting star and kind of put some carrots around it, adding a little pizzazz. I'll show you what it looks like. You guys, how silly is that? It is not pretty, but it does look pretty delicious. And so, yeah, see what you have. Let's make an interesting lunch. I'm gonna try this star sandwich. Let's see how it is. Mmm. It's better than I thought. And it's fun to eat because it's in the shape of a star. And it's small. Cool. All right, guys, so remember to show us what you've been making in your kitchens. And again, you don't have to go get any special supplies. You just use whatever you have, and it'll be great. So, happy eating.